The Al Khalid 1 is an upgraded variant of Al Khalid tank which is developed jointly by Pakistan and China in the 1990s, based on the Chinese Type 92M tank, and was adopted in 2001. Having a crew of 3 in 125mm smoothbore gun, with good mobility as it is powered by a 1200 horsepower engine, it is considered to be the most heavily weaponized tank by tonnage, weight of the tank is around 46 tons. Recently Pakistan Army inducted a batch of 44 upgraded tanks, while 110 are being in production. The tank got the upgradation package with the assistance of China and Ukraine. The overall design of Al-Khalid is low profile, with a crew of three including commander, gunner, and driver. It is equipped with digitally controlled FPGA-based solid-state autoloader with bidirectional tray movement with ammo availability information on the screen, and an autoloader bigger carousel now accommodates longer rounds. Tank is upgraded in all aspects, first is the upgradation of fire control system which is now able to cope with multiple targets in a tactical way. It includes Sagan third generation thermal sights for both the gunner and commander, reminding that only the late modern tanks have the third generation thermal imaging sights which increase the commander's capacity to detect the target and engage. An auto tracking system for the 125mm and 12.7mm gun is provided to engage the target effectively. Al Khalid 1 is also fitted with the advanced integrated battle management system which is much important in modern warfare marking friendlies, exchanging information, communicating with the command vehicles, and overall improving the battle performance of the tank. An advanced laser detection system is also installed, with overall improvements tank detection range is increased to 7 km and engagement range increased to 3.5 km. Second improvement is the ammunition compartment which includes the digitally controlled solid-state auto-reloader having an enlarged carousel, which can acquire longer kinetic energy penetrator and new heat rounds. This new auto-loader has digital screens that show availability like empty or full trays, and type of ammo which helps the gunner to select the suitable round for the target. The bi-direction movement of tray improves the rate of fire from 8 to 9 rounds per minute. Ammo storage is also increased from 39 to 49 shells. Furthermore, the ammo capacity for the 12.7mm machine gun is increased from 500 to 1500 rounds and coaxial machine gun storage is also increased to 7000 rounds. Third the protection level is improved by installing the newly domestic developed Arak Mark II explosive reactive armor, while the previous variant has Mark I ERA. Arak Mark II is not only lightweight, but also much more resistant to armor-piercing thin stabilized discarding sabo and heat rounds, while the previous Mark I armor provides the protection to only heat shells, not APFSDS rounds. According to some sources armor protection against APFSDS shells is over 600mm and 1000mm RHA of armor against the heat rounds. The upgraded tanks can also be equipped with the Ukrainian Varda Soft Kill Active Protection System which is basically the electro-optical jammer, as it disrupts laser rangefinders, laser designators, and anti-tank guided missile tracking systems. Further minor upgrades include digital driver panel, which helps the driver to drive the tank more efficiently as it shows necessary information on the screen. Other than that, infrared resistant paint is applied to minimize the detection in the enemy range. A muzzle reference system is also installed which improves the gun accuracy. Last but not least the air conditioning is improved which would enhance the crew skills even more. Al Khalid 1 retains the same engine as its previous model the Ukrainian 6TD2 1200 horsepower having a top speed of 72 km per hour and a power-to-weight ratio of 26 horsepower per ton. Despite improvement, there are still number of shortcomings in the tank, like ERA coverage is not up to mark, there are mounts welded for reactive armor tiles still frontal arc is not fully covered, 
Although a 12.7mm machine gun can be fired from inside still it is not equipped with dedicated remote weapon station, commander is not provided with independent thermal sight, both gunner and commander use common thermal sight. In conclusion, Al Khalid 1 may not be as good or advanced as the modern main battle tanks of Russia and NATO, but in the region, it is quite effective and powerful. The fire control system, ability to fire depleted uranium rounds, and mobility are its main factor making it one of the lethal tanks in Asia.